All right, we're moving on to week two, the 1-0 Jets. I saw the Raiders and the Titans had like a 48-41 to game. I can't remember who won, so we'll see if we actually get to play this game or not. And the Raiders lost, so we're going to have to sim, which with this Jets team is not great news because I don't see us winning a ton of games in simulation, but I guess you never know. Definitely a great team win there. We'll take a look at the stats here from that first game. I feel like 24-21 is kind of the prototype for a team win a little bit of offense a little bit of defense a little bit of sloppiness here and there we had the interception but 274 two touchdowns a quarterback rating of 106.1 definitely a good start to sam Darnold's career does outplay josh allen his divisional counterpart crowell really had it going on the ground 27 carries 110 yards trying to limit what sam Darnold had to do but in the end Darnold did come up clutch Big game for a Nunwa. Had a big touchdown, it looks like. 54 yards. Jermaine Curse was really clutch in that game winning drive we had. And then defensively, good game for Avery Williamson. Eight tackles. No sacks and no interceptions. So, not forcing any turnovers in that first game. That was something our Cardinals team was really good at with sacks, picks, turnovers. A much differently constructed defense here with this Jets team. So we got to go to Oakland here, and we'll see, man. It, it, it's not an unwinnable game. We've got the Dolphins next week, so pretty easy schedule to start this season for this Jets team. But let's see what happens. 2-0. Awesome. Let's see how we did. 21-17, another good team win. A little more defense in this one. Taking care of Derek Carr. Picked him off three times. There we go. Good game for Sam. A little bit lower on the yardage end but again over 100 for his quarterback rating Crowell very busy and this week was Robbie Anderson so really the three the top three receivers for us all getting utilized I actually like to see that especially this specific team I feel like those three guys all kind of complement each other Leonard Williams gets two sacks in this one so that's good to see Buster Screen and Marcus May coming away with an interception here if you remember uh, with our Cardinals team Buda Baker really struggled to put up numbers and it took a while to kind of develop him. So hopefully Marcus May can have a good season here and start to develop a little better than Baker did. For scouting, we're going to start with receivers. So we've got 6'1", 212 here. A minus spectacular catch. That guy can go right to the top of our board. Damian Jordan, he is 24, but we'd make him younger based on the way I do things. My realistic rebuilds if i get a first round prospect from a major school and he's a freak athlete i usually make him 21 or 22 years old depending how i'm feeling at the time another good receiver there he's five foot eight this looks like a rope oh, okay first round grade we got six foot two here 216 kyari tyler for those watching this and wondering yes of course i will be doing my own personal custom draft classes in madden 19 which will be huge because they will be consistent with my custom roster overhaul, the ratings that you're seeing in this very rebuild right now, just on Xbox, but a quick plug, patreon.com slash that franchise guy. We've got stretch goals on there for you PlayStation guys. If you enjoy my roster and want to see it on PlayStation, I love you guys. I want to bring you the roster, but between pro football focus, my work with them editing the roster on Xbox and bringing you guys content here, there's only so much time in the day and I have to make decisions with my time. So anyway, we've got the Dolphins this week. They are 0-2 coming to New York. I think we can get this win. We just went into Oakland and got a W. We've got the quarterback advantage and home field advantage. So let's see if we can beat the Fins. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. 3-0, baby. What a start. Now, it was a really easy schedule, and we won 13-10, to 10, so the defense really stepping up. So things are going to get harder here, but that is an awesome start for us. Quiet game for Darnold. Did have 265 yards, but no touchdowns, one interception. Crowell, you know, nothing really to speak of on the offensive side. Defensively, a couple sacks, no interceptions. So just uh, probably a boring game. A lot of punts, all that. 13-10, but man, does 3-0 look good. And we get to play this week against the Jaguars. Let's take a look at our contract situation. So Cl Claiborne's up. I'll definitely consider re-signing him. He's only 27 here. Again, some of these ages are going to be off. 
This all goes back to my uh, settings overhaul for Madden 18 specifically franchise to address some of that awful regression. We did lower the age of a lot of players. I have a feeling Morris Claiborne may have been lowered. I could be wrong here. He could actually be that young. He was pretty young when he came into the league, uh, but that does seem 27 a little lower than it should be. As far as XP is concerned, let's see if there's any big ones to spend here. And go ahead and spend on Jamal Adams because he is already superstar. Really excited for the new progression system for Madden 19, especially for online leagues where you can't just take a guy like Leonard Williams and say, okay, we're going to make him really freaking good at run defense, and boom, there's four block shed, which can be a bit overpowered compared to, say, impact blocking. So with the new progression system, You'll just apply it to an archetype, and then based on what you choose, he will get certain attributes that align with that archetype that you want. So this is not going to be an easy game. We've got the Jacksonville Jaguars coming to town. The now league-wide respected Jaguars. Uh, but if we can get the win, that's 4-0 and a great start for this Jets team. It's hard to imagine this not being a fun game to watch. It's the Jaguars going up against the Jets. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Godden and Jason. All right, Larry, EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in the East Rutherford, New Jersey. A few moments ago, the crowd here was on their feet as their beloved Jets made their way out of the tunnel. They're ready to go. We're ready to go. And it should be a good one as those New York Jets get set to face off with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Hi again, everyone, with Charles Davis, Operant, and Gordon. And Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. They've got to be pleased with the start to the season, obviously. A perfect all right, so right off the bat, they're giving us a red zone opportunity. It looks like first and 10. Honestly, against this Jags team, it's going to be a defensive game. I would at least hope so. So let's try and keep it that way. Oh, no, I bit on that. Man, did I screw that up. Got the young Marcus May to just completely bite on the play action. So now we've got the flip side. Maybe we can equal that out by scoring here on our own offense. Well, they're coming. Catch that thing. Nice catch. Is that? That's Anunwa. First down. Good hot read there by Sam Darnold. Hmm. Who was that? Malik Jackson getting in there for the sack. Jeez, I saw the blitz coming. I wanted to start running to the right, and for some reason he didn't go. Some bad offense by me and defense. Jeez, this pass rush just destroyed me. Three straight sacks. An embarrassing start to this game from my end on the user end. And then I just, did I just miss that? Oh my God, what is going on? Wow. What a bad swing by taking over there. And now we only have one left. Computer is going to have to save me. That was brutal. They're keeping us in it. We're going to just keep going here. So we get three. Defense is hanging in there, man. Two-minute drill, get some points. We could tie the game up before half, and then the computer that's played better than me to this point would then take over. I think this seems like a no-brainer. We got the full two-minute drill. Corner's coming. Get rid of that thing. God, why did you lob that? What is going on? All right, get moving. Let's go screen. Just wasted 20 seconds there. They're blitzing again, but it works off. Come on, block for me, boys. There we go. Give me a block. There we go. Is that Brian Winters? Come on, Crowell. Get the corner. Get going. That's Jalen Ramsey. Oh, he misses the dive. Touchdown, Jets. That's how you neutralize a pass rush. We left them a lot of time, though. Hopefully they don't score. All right, 10-10. If we win this despite my start to that game, now we're down. Now we're up. Now we're down. Now, all right, there's no way. 
Jeez, we lost control of this one. That second half just opened up offensively. Wow. 20 points in the first half and then like 40 in the second almost. So the first loss of the season, I didn't do us any favors. Potential 10 point swing. Actually potential, yeah, 10 point swing. We could have held no field goal, could have scored early. Could have made the freaking field goal. Good day for Darnold, wow. He did throw a pick, but defense could not stop Blake the Snake. Leonard Williams gets a pair of sacks. We gotta be better though. Man, we knew the Jags were gonna be tough, but I don't think we were expecting a 38 point showing from Blake Bortles. 